Okay. You know they 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 got they got that completed. They got the tech for that completed. Okay. It's not quite implemented into the game, but however, I mm-hmm. did notice there's a lot of NPCs missing out of 3.17. Really? Yes. Yes, because that sign to me is telling me that when you're getting ready to test something, you want to test it on a small form factor before you scale up. Right. You see, remember when they implemented the bartender, the, the, not the bartender, but the uh, the coffee guy at Area yeah. 18 to be yeah. like that test for that? He's missing. Oh, he's missing? He's not there? Yes, he's not there anymore. Okay. They're doing mm. stuff. Mm. They are doing stuff, my brother. They're doing stuff. They're testing. They're oh, so this stuff. this so this explains why everything is taking so long. Yes, they're right doing now. stuff. Yeah, okay. they're doing they're doing some stuff, man. Okay. They're doing some stuff. They getting they getting their seeing they they're testing to see how the concrete is gonna dry. Right. To see how 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 the foundation is gonna be, right. and the way I see it, man, they're ahead of schedule on a lot of things. Mm. You know, they're ahead of schedule on a lot of things because a lot, you know, a lot of the stuff that that they wanna um implement for the pyro to be pyro. Mm-hmm. A lot of the stuff that was needed for that star system and for the for that gameplay to be implemented, we have it now. Mm-hmm. You see, we didn't have to. We don't have to wait for a lot of things. That's why they're pushing for it now because there, it got to be something coming down the pipe for a uh, three point eighteen, nineteen, and maybe even a a, a three twenty or four point oh. Right before uh, you know, I'm thinking we, we may even see those types of patches before Pyro even uh, drops. Mm. You know. Okay, but. That's the that's 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 to be to be seen, but mm. they're working on some stuff, man. They're working on some stuff, mm. and to be able to get some of these things worked on and get some of these things implemented early, um, on, on, on a ahead of schedule, mm. and work on to see what it would be, you know, that's a right. good sign. That's a right. real good sign, you know, right. for things to come. And did you hear about the uh the the flamethrower? No. There's a there's going to be a flamethrower in this game. There's a flamethrower coming. <laughs> not, not, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Not a flamethrower. Uh, uh 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 the uh the reverse of that. The one that put the fire out. Oh the, the oh the extinguisher. Extinct fire extinguisher. I'm sorry. Ooh, I can't um, yeah, wait. So check yeah. it now. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Let, okay, so let let me let me explain. Let me explain to you what what the fire extinguisher means for the right. future of Star Citizen. Because so, this is a hint mm-hmm. for people that don't know. Right, mm-hmm. Star Citizen is about to become Star Citizen, where Chris Roberts don't want you to play Star Citizen. That is a misconception. You don't come into Star Citizen and play a game. You come in and live an experience. You are Star Citizen, right? So the game is getting ready to slow down exponentially. And you can see signs of that, right? Where where a lot of the, in the earlier patches, Alex, in the earlier patches, like 3.13, 3.12, you see Mm -hmm. 3.14 and 15, right? The game was was quick fast pace get into your ship call your ship get into your ship take off for your ship go to a mission do the mission right. complete the mission get paid you see what i'm saying you you right. get into your ship go land somewhere buy some cargo take the cargo drop it off sell it rinse and repeat right right that's arcadey gameplay chris roberts he can't stand arcadey gameplay Right. So this is this fire extinguisher goes to show that ships are not going to blow up anymore. Yes. 
So, I was talking to Lex earlier about if there's our fires that break out on your ship due to uh, um, unforeseen um, incidents, accidents, uh, 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 things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Fire has a will have a degradation effect on your ship's hull and your ship systems. Absolutely right. right. So that means that your ship systems will become a consumable. Right. Right. So you have to have a fire extinguisher to to, to put your your uh your the fire out. That leaves you and your ship in a vulnerable state. So now right. let's let's compound that with the hacking devices that's coming. The ability oh, to I, hack. Can I can I say something before you you compound that armor? That's why they give us the ability to carry um, extra pieces in our inventory, large enough to carry a shield generator. Right. Okay. Uh, See, you those see. are real. Those are real scenarios. There right. you go. Right. See there. So now, because if you notice, a lot of the new ships that are coming into the game, they have the ability for you to take out and remove your components, right? Yes. So now we have the ability to put our components into our our inventory and switch out components as we see fit, right? Not right. just for this, not just for the purpose of upgrading, but also for the purpose of changing our components when they degrade. You see, right. so that will goes to show that the fire extinguisher is a good sign to let you know that upkeep for your ship is going to be a real thing here in the future. Right, I agree. I agree. Now, let's compile that with the hacking ability. So, if your ship, if you're not paying attention, you're flying your ship, right? Mm -hmm. And you've been haven't been paying attention to the anatomy and the light and the the uh, the uh, the health of your mm -hmm. ship. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, your power plant just turns off. Mm -hmm. Why did it turn off? Well, you overclocked it too much. You overused it too much. It's burnt out. Or fuse. Remember they had they had this segment where you'd be able to purchase these fuses and these mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these little modules that you can open up your 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 component and put in these different you put it in. Yeah. fuses. You're right. Yes. So one of those burnt out. Mm -hmm. And now you're stranded in space. Right. Right. So now you're in a vulnerable state. And it just so happened to do that in lawless space. <laughs> well, all the pirate organizations congregate. Right. And they have access to these hacking abilities, these hacking tools, and not to mention, you know that that uh, that mining that 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 uh, not the mining tool, but the new tool that's coming out for uh, ship ship salvage, the hand tool. Yeah, salvage. You know that's tool. gonna right. You know that's gonna double into a cutter, right? Yeah, they they have this the head the smaller one for the, for the multi tool and they have the bigger one. They have a cutter, and there's another one. I think there's two of them. There's a cutter, and then there's gonna be the salvage also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There would yeah. be the salvage would be the ability to, to remove salvage. other ship uh, destructive ship components, mm -hmm. like right. when you go in space and you see a derelict ship. Right. To be able to move your warp drive or quantum drive, whatever, in the hull, in the body of the ship, the hull yes. too. Yes. Yes. So now you, you know the, these uh, these pirate organizations are gonna have their hands on such things, right? That's true. And you just had a negligent situation. <laughs> where you didn't pay attention 
and your yeah. power plant just shut off and you forgot to purchase a fuse right 